Hi, I'm Alan Stokel. In this episode, how to make a bacon explosion on your boat. What is a bacon explosion? It's something Americans seem to uh, love, especially on strange rit ritualistic festivals they call Super Bowl, which apparently occurs every February. We Canadians have adapted for our own climate and spicing levels. The major ingredients are bacon, in this particular case, a thick sliced bacon, and pork sausage meat, not sausages. Pork sausage meat comes in a tube. Many people use it as uh, to stuff turkey. If you can't find uh, pork sausage meat, substitute ground pork. The final ingredient is a cacophony of herbs and spices depending on your cultural needs. I like HP sauce, so a little bit of tamarind sauce adds body. I'm also partial to cumin, but some people think it smells like underarms, so... <laughs> um, here are the ingredients you'll need to uh, make a killer bacon explosion. So you will need two packages of uh, thick sliced bacon, at least one package of pork sausage meat, and then smoky barbecue sauce, herbs of your choice, perhaps ketchup, hoisin sauce, some hot sauce, and if you wish, you can in put in some cheese. I'm not on my boat today, but uh, this can be prepared easily on a boat if you have a stove or a barbecue. Otherwise, you may prefer to make this at home, freeze it, and reheat it on a covered frying pan or your stove. Now you should start by laying down some foil on the counter uh, so you'll have something to uh, wrap the uh, bacon explosion in. Once you've done that, uh, just open the package of bacon and uh, get out uh, a couple of strips. Now there's a number of different ways of uh, doing this. Uh, of weaving them back and forth together. Uh, you will have to make sort of a basket shape, so it would be making a basket weave as you go. Uh, but you can figure out the best way for you. This one works well for me. Uh, what you see me doing there is just simply lifting up uh, some of the uh, bacon strips. So it's uh, up, the uh, bacon is on top and then goes underneath and goes on top, just like you were, like I say, weaving a basket. You will definitely develop your own system after a while of doing this. This is by far the hardest part. You can see right there I got it wrong. <laughs> but you will get it for sure and you just make sure that you have a weave that will hold everything together. Well, at any rate, once you master that, you can uh, put together some uh, liquid ingredients out with the uh, hot sauce. I add some nutmeg uh, um, or ground cloves. I think ground cloves and pork together are absolutely great. Um, we have our uh, uh, smoky barbecue sauce and then HP sauce, which is like a tamarind sauce. And then dry ingredients, we uh, shake on. That was Louisiana hot sauce, that's cayenne pepper. What else are we gonna put on there? By the way, you can also put on garlic powder if you wish, if you wanna make it a bit more garlicky. So once you have put down the uh, dry ingredients, then you can simply uh, mix together all the wet ingredients and uh, lather on, uh, leaving some uh, aside to put on the outside of the bacon explosion. And then of course, there's that pork sausage tube and you can just squeeze it out. You know, sometimes it comes out in one piece, sometimes it doesn't, this time it did. And you can squish it with your hands or with uh, a knife or a fork or a spatula or whatever you have. 
Uh, whatever you do, just make sure that it actually does completely cover the uh, inside. Now we need to leave a little space because we're going to roll this up uh, using the foil to start the roll. And because we're going to roll it like a jelly roll. So okay, that's started now. So it's just a simple matter of uh, rolling. And of course it's very floppy so you have to uh, uh, turn it in uh, at a number of different locations. So you get, uh, get to turning evenly and you can see how that weaving, that basket weave works. You can now see it's being held together by the basket weave of bacon. And so, of course, once you uh, put it in the middle of the foil with the uh, open section down, you can uh, put on more barbecue sauce. Don't forget the sides need barbecue sauce too. So it's all barbecued up now with lots of sauce. Okay, so uh, here we are, we've got the uh, foil. Now the folding of the foil is, uh, is fairly important because uh, uh, you need to make a nice little packet that will go on the barbecue. Now some people put the barbecue, uh, put it right on the barbecue, but I like preheating the barbecue and putting it in the foil uh, and putting it on the uh, other side. I have the heat on one side and the uh, bacon exposure on the other until it reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius, at which point you should have a beautiful looking bacon explosion just like this. Please enjoy.